Gentlemen, today we're going to be discussing beer and everything about alcohol when it comes to getting in shape and getting rid of dad bod. So, I get it. <clears throat> Most guys have this all or nothing mentality. It's like they're either in the gym, they're killing it, they're doing good in their diet, or they're being really bad and just messing everything up and effing everything up. So it's all or nothing. They're drinking like crazy. It's an all or nothing mentality. And we got to we got to change that. Okay? And I get it. Sometimes you just need to completely unwind. You need to have a nice drink and you just need to kind of relax. I totally totally understand. So how do we get around losing the dad bod and getting to, you know, a fit dad or dilf status, right? How do we do that? Okay? So keep in mind over consuming any nutrient, protein, carbs, fats, will lead to fat storage. If you're overeating, you're gonna gain fat, it's that simple. If you're under eating, you're gonna lose fat. That's just the way it works. That is the law of thermodynamics, you can't do anything to break that. But when you consume beer, when you have any type of alcohol, it gets absorbed in your bloodstream right away, then makes a beeline directly to the liver so your body can get rid of it. So your body treats alcohol the same way it does poison. Your body stops the breakdown of everything else <clears throat> until the alcohol is eliminated. It has been shown that since alcohol cannot be stored in your body, your body takes that as precedence to get rid of that and will store the carbs and fat that you're currently eating in your body because it can't get rid of the other one. So that, that's right there. So alcohol itself is not directly making you fat, but the other excessive calories that you are, are eating are readily being stored as fat when alcohol is present. That's just the way it works. So here's the thing with alcohol, you gotta do it in moderation, okay? The problem becomes is when you get wild with it. If you get wild with your alcohol consumption, typically with lower inhibitions, you're gonna start to just eat everything. It's just kind of the way it works. You just kind of binge, and then one thing falls into the next. And as I just taught you, if you have alcohol present in your bloodstream, all those extra calories that you consumed are gonna go and get stored until that alcohol is eliminated from your body. So that's a huge problem. But with that said, here are the four drinks that you should have that won't blow your diet, that as long as you factor them in, you're gonna make some progress. So number one, straight liquor, my friends. So most people ask me this all the time. Does it matter if it's clear, brown, this, that, the other thing? Straight liquor is always the best way to go because it's gonna be the least amount of calories. It's not mixed with anything and it's just straight. So whiskey, bourbon, things like that, uh, vodka, on the rocks, straight up, always the best way to do it. Plus that's kind of alpha when you have a glass of whiskey in your hand, it's just kind of alpha. So I think that that's, that's probably the best way to have it. So that's number one, okay? Number two, no calorie mixers. So things like club soda, diet soda, Sprite Zero, diet ginger ale, all those things mixed into the drinks are gonna lead to obviously less calories. So sometimes I'll do like a vodka and cranberry, but I'll use like the diet uh, cranberry. Again, it's just an easy way to have the same drink you normally would have, but saving extra calories with that. That's usually my go-to uh, drink of choice. Diet cranberry with vodka, or just straight up, you know, vodka on the rocks, or whiskey on the rocks, whatever it is, just straight up. That's usually how I do it. And number three, light beer. I know it's kind of like, ah, I'm having a light beer. Like, what kind of an alpha male is a light beer? Just turn the bottle the other way. No one will even notice that it's a light beer. But again, you just want to try to save as many of those calories as you can. Problem with light beer is um, you're not going to get as much alcohol content in them, and you're going, to have, you're going to need to have a lot of them in order to feel anything. You're just going to feel bloated and disgusting. But again, it's just an option. And number four can always go wrong with a nice glass of red wine to relax for about 120 calories a glass, and it's higher in alcohol content than most other drinks. So, you know, one or two glasses of wine for the night, you should be good to go, you should feel a nice thing there. So, one of the other things I wanna tell you guys is you should also be staying away from craft beers. They're just loaded with extra calories and things that are just gonna add some LBs around that waistline, gentlemen, making that dad bod very, very hard to get rid of, so you wanna avoid that. I know what you're thinking. Is alcohol going to affect my ability to become fit dad, a DILF? Is it going to affect my ability to do that? The answer is, it's really going to depend on you. Again, go, all going back to what I said. It's all about moderation. If you're being moderate with your alcohol and you're having a couple of beers every day, not a big deal. But if you're overdoing it and then binging and going out to eat after, that's going to affect you and you're never going to get out of dad bod. And you're always going to have dad bod. So dads, if you're interested in taking it to the next level, make sure you click that link in the description below so I can help you get your dilfness on 
And again, remember, don't just watch my videos, dads, and do nothing. I want you to go out there and take action. So if you're going to have alcohol, have one of the four that I mentioned in this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.